Hello and welcome back to ADK Aquatics and today we are talking about the best ways to learn in the aquarium hobby. The aquarium hobby is full of niches and rabbit holes to go down that it seems like it's impossible to learn at all. I am here to give you my top 5 ways to learn about our amazing hobby. Let's get started. My first way to learn about the aquarium hobby is by listening to past live streams slash podcasts about aquarium fish. I like to listen to Aquarium Co-op's weekly live stream on the podcast app myself. I prefer it more than listening to it on YouTube because I can close out of the app or turn off my phone, which makes it easy to listen to while doing water changes or when I'm going on a run. I like these live streams that Aquarium Co-op puts on, especially because Corey has a, a planned topic to discuss for about 30 minutes of the live stream and then he does an open Q&A for the rest of the live stream. This is really helpful for learning because people ask a wide variety of questions and Corey always seems to have a well thought out answer to the question even though he's asked right on the spot. And you may even learn something that you didn't even know you wanted to learn about when listening to one of the Q&A sessions. If you don't like Corey, that's fine. You can watch LRB Aquatics weekly live stream on Friday or Steen Fought Aquatics weekly live stream on Monday. Basically, if you like a fish tuber, chances are they do a live stream and you can watch it. And I definitely recommend you check them out. Now it's time for number two, books. Books are often considered an absolute way of obtaining information now that the internet is so widespread. This is true for some aspects of fish keeping, like the pH is necessary to keep certain species of fish or other facts like these can be easily obtained with a quick Google search. <clears throat> However, I found books are very helpful when it comes to disease identification and curing. There are several different books about aquarium diseases, and the one I use is called the Manual of Fish Health. I find these books to be much more helpful than the internet because it has detailed descriptions, good pictures, and is written by a scientist or other professional who, who specializes in this field. I like my book, The Manual of Fish Health, especially because it has specific pages that help you identify what disease it is, like if it's a physical problem with your fish, if it's a, if it's a pest problem, and if, it, if it's an internal problem, if it's an external problem, anything like that there's a specific page for that and then there's like a whole chart of like if x is happening to your fish go to page 120 and it'll tell you all about it this makes the diagnosing process much more efficient with much less guesswork the third thing on my list is forums forums aren't perfect by any means as there are many conflicting opinions and because no one's perfect you could well receive false information they are good, however, to speak if you want to speak to like-minded people and you can get some second opinions on questions you may have. Some good forums that I'd recommend joining are Fishlore, which has been around for over a decade and has many experts on specific topics in the aquarium hobby. I'd also recommend Aquarium Co-ops Forum, which is a, a much newer forum, and it is manned by the Aquarium Co-op YouTube channel. There is also a really new website that is like a forum, but not really. It's called PetScored. It's like social media, but just for pets, mostly fish, fish keeping. It was just started about a week ago by Chris from Fish for Thought, and it already has hundreds of members. There are different groups you can join. You can send pictures, make text-only posts, send polls, and more. Come join me in my three groups that I have already created in the forum. Bolivian Ram Gang, Puffer Town, and Aquarium Meme Crew. I am on this site constantly and am number two in the leaderboards for activity as of right now. I will post a link in the description to PetScored and you can join me. Now it's time for number four, magazines. Did you know that there are magazines made specifically for fish keeping? That's right, there are multiple magazines just on fish keeping you can subscribe to. The one I chose to subscribe to was PFK, or Practical Fish Keeping. This magazine uploads one magazine a month that is over 100 pages long usually. 80 pages of actual content if you don't count the ads slash the table of contents. 
It's basically like a whole short, short book worth of aquarium knowledge delivered right to your door monthly. Or to your phone if you use the app. I find that the articles span a wide variety of topics from freshwater plants to saltwater corals. And everything in between. From fresh, freshwater fishing shrimp to saltwater fish and other invertebrates. The only downside to this magazine is that it's based in the UK, so if you're in America, be prepared to do a lot of conversions. My final way is the site that you are using to watch this video right now, YouTube. There are hundreds of different fish tubers out there for you to find, and each person specializes in something different. Want to learn about African cichlids? Tazawa Tanks is your guy. Want to learn about rainbow fish? I hear that Steen Fod Aquatics loves them. Want to learn about live bearers? Cory from Aquarium Co-op will help you with that. Want to learn about shrimp? LRB Aquatics knows all about those. And so on. YouTube has a great fish keeping community for you to explore and I encourage you to. Anyways, that's my top 5 ways to learn in the aquarium hobby. Thanks for watching and goodbye.